Hello everyone, we just made the six hour drive over to Knoxville, Tennessee. Tomorrow we're gonna be riding Baker Creek. Today we're drinking. I'm here with Junko, AKA Turtle Commander. She's the one who called me up and said, hey, let's go on a road trip, let's go ride. I'm like, okay. Anyways, not boring you with the intro this time. Instead, we're gonna get out there. I hear there are some jumps to hit. Let's go kill it. Z. Wake up. What time is it? Time to go. D did you change my clothes? You're taking too long. Did you change my underwear? Good morning and welcome to Baker Creek in Knoxville, Tennessee. To warm us up on this chilly morning ride, Junko started us off on Upper Barn Burger. Oh shit, I started catching up to you. Even with the warm up, I could see how it got its name. Defined as an event to a sports contest that is very exciting or intense, Barn Burner <laughs> with its constant features is rather fitting. Nice! Dude, cleared all of it. So to everyone that I've ridden with and everyone I'm going to ride with, when I say warm up, this is what I'm talking about. Nice, easy flow, loosens me up, builds up my confidence for the day. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm switching. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Oh, that felt good. Oh shit, you were behind me? All right, I guess you're making it on the video then. Oh, holy shit. Okay, Drop it so in. after my first real scare on this trail, I figured it was time to work on a little progression. I've ridden hips before, but nothing this big or blind. The turn on the backside is almost shallow enough not to call it a hip, and in fact, as evidenced by my first real attempt at it, it's fairly simple to ride out if you screw it up. Nonetheless, it was a challenge that I was excited to face. Oh yeah! So naturally, after seeing me conquer the hip, Junko wanted to give it a couple of ghosts herself. And well, just watch. Just keep pushing it. You'll get it. Are right, you ready? Nice. All right, on to the next one. Yeah. Man, you guys are so fast on this. I actually, I was in the wrong gear. I tried pedaling. I'm just like, woo! <laughs> oh, that's a super case. Well, as you can see, I cased another one. But all that means is I have another chance at progression with another spot to session. Oh, hey, that rhymed. <laughs> okay. Ah, 
I think I cleared it. All right, it is intermission time. We've already been riding for about, what, three, four hours? It, it's break time, I'm getting hungry. But you know what, I brought a little treat for us. Uh, Junko's already drinking hers. I've never mentioned what nationality I claim, well, at least half. Here's your hint. Message me on Instagram what nationality I claim, and I will send you a sticker. That's a long climb. All right, made it to the top of Devil's Racetrack. Once again, a familiar sight where online everything looks nice and easy. You get here and it's like, uh, really? I'm gonna do that? Junko, how tall are you? 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five, three. And she barely sticks her head over top of that jump. Yeehaw. All right, you ready? Yep. Wanna go first on the first one? Yeah, I can do that. Yep. Part of why I pulled off after only the first two turns of Devil's Racetrack is because the beginning features are significantly different than most of what I'd been riding that day. Part of sessioning is taking the trail's challenges little by little to learn them one at a time, then piecing them all together at the end. And of course the other reason is because I wasn't about to lose my cameras at the top of the hill. Do it. Another tabletop, another nice tabletop. Just like in my Chattanooga video, before launching down Devil's Racetrack like some kind of pro mountain biker, rolling it just seemed like a much better option. The first thing I noticed, however, Jesus, there are a lot of braking bumps on this. It looks like on any other day, Devil's Racetrack would be just as much fun as it looks on YouTube. Smooth yet challenging with just a few puffer factors at the end to keep me on my toes. Oh, shit. what the hell? Holy hell. Unfortunately, I'm quite prone to bad luck, so I blame that for the poor timing of not being out here when the trail is in pristine condition. Besides, when you search Knoxville mountain biking on YouTube, most of the thumbnails show Devil's Racetrack. Most notably, the iconic wood berm at the top. However, for the sake of effort, Junko and I decided to give it the old college try. It still didn't come out super pretty, so that just means I may have to come out and do an all Devil's Racetrack video. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see, because that is certainly something I'd want to do. But still, not all was lost. What seems to be the only spot on Devil's Racetrack that wasn't completely beaten up was the lower tabletop, home to Baker Creek's whip-off. Uh, dropping. I knew there was no way I'd be able to pull off a whip, but I also knew there was no way I was leaving Baker Creek without at least clearing it. Oh, not even close. Need to go way faster. Damn. Hey, here we go. There we go. I had to push the heck out of it, but I got it. Oh, that was not smooth at all. There was still a little bit more day left, so Junko and I went back to what was, at least on that day, my favorite trail at Baker Creek. One thing that I would like to note was that even though we were tired, and even though it had only been a single day of riding, you can really see some significant improvement on Junko's jumping ability from just a few hours earlier. Yeah, let's go hit that flow. 
At around this point, you can pretty much say it was sunset. It was a long, amazing day, and we still had one more trail to ride. Lucky for us, with the trees in winter mode, we had just enough sun to do it. This last trail is called Cruise Valley Run. It's just under a mile of intensely relaxing flow that really capped off the day and cooled us down nicely. Thank you all so much for watching. And biggest thanks goes to Junko who planned this whole trip for us. Without her, I don't think this video would have gone as smoothly as it did. Unfortunately, the COVID situation seems to be getting worse again, so I'm back to saying, once this pandemic is over, I'll be looking for more places to ride. So message me on Instagram and tell me about your trails. A few of you already have, and I am beyond excited to get the chance to plan something and ride with you. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, please make sure to leave a comment, especially if you have any tips on how I can make improvements. And as always, whether you're working or playing, keep flying. Yeah. Yes. Good job. Can we go home now?